Scotty. I need warp speed in three minutes or we're all dead. No response, Admiral. Scotty, Mr. Sue, get us out of here. Best possible speed. I see. Are you out of your Vulcan mind? No human can tolerate the radiation that's in there. As you are so fond of observing, Doctor, I am not human. You're not going in there. Perhaps you're right. What is Mr. Scott's condition? Well, I don't think that he... <laughs> I'm sorry, Doctor. I have no time to discuss this logically. Remember. Sir, the mains are back online. No! You'll flood the whole compartment to die. Sir, he's dead already. Ship. Out of danger. Yes. Don't breathe, Admiral. It was logical. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. Solution. Spock. I have been, and always shall be, your friend.
we are assembled here today to pay final respects to our honored dead. And yet it should be noted that in the midst of our sorrow, this death takes place in the shadow of new life, the sunrise of a new world, a world that our beloved comrade gave his life to protect and nourish. He did not feel this sacrifice of vain or empty, and we will not debate his profound wisdom with these besieged. Of my friend, I can only say this. Of all the souls I have encountered in my travels, his was the most human. Others. frontier. These are the continuing voyages of the starship Enterprise. Her ongoing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life forms and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before.